Okay, this is going to be a moderately long video demonstrating the power of using Unity, the Gaia plugin, Nitrogen, and Seven Days to Die to create a random world generated Seven Days to Die world that I kind of sculpted. So basically, this is Unity. I um, am using a plugin called Gaia, which allows me to stamp uh, basically these terrain maps over here. Um, but and I came created this world. It's going to be basically an island with a flat area over here, a volcano over here, high mountains over here, and a little peak looking thing over here, another flat over here. And hopefully the end game, oh, I already know it does, the volcano has some water at the bottom with some land in it. And it basically allows this to be your random world generated, uh, randomly generated world. Um, but instead I'm actually stamping the world so I get to control the shape of it. And then what I do, um, this is an 8K world by the way, and then what I do is I bring it over to Nitrogen, which is Demicles' this nice software which allows you to create random world generations or import a height map, aka this thing over here, to um, then lay roads and biomes and towns and buildings and all the POI stuff. That way I don't have to hand place them like is um, the current way of doing it. Uh, one thing important to note if you're going to import a height map is to turn off all of the water. You do not want water when you're importing a height map because it will jack shit up. I don't know what the logic is that he's using in terms of like the order of things, but I think water is out of place in the order of things that should be done when it comes to importing a height map because all I know is I end up with a water world and sunken POIs, raised POIs, it's just everything's all jacked up. So um, turn off all the water. when doing a when importing a height map just do that uh, and after I did that then I brought it into seven days to die and then I said okay this is actually kind of cool I walked around a little bit and I said there's this town that generated way up here uh, where's my stamper at and um, I, there was a special POI I had found and I wanted to use it I wanted to edit it and bring it into the game so I basically went to the POI um, the, the prefabs XML file and I added this POI in the exact place I wanted to do. Now it took some trial and error going in and out of the game a bunch of times deleting the reading files to determine where exactly it should place and then I ended up finding out that I needed some more flat area so what I did is I did in Photoshop is I went ahead and extended the flat area. So basically I took you know I, I basically used a brush and, and painted more, more flat area than I needed. I could have done it in Unity and re-exported and read blah 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 but that process of re-importing a height map is actually in nitrogen is actually kind of clunky because basically you have to export it as a raw file bring it over to a specific folder use a speci special tool that converts it to a PNG file but only if it's a certain name bring that file into another folder rename it into another name in order to be used here. So use import height map PNG. So it's kind of clunky as far as that goes, but in all in all, the end result is, I think, pretty damn good. Um, this is the world. Um, you see way off in the distance, there's a mountain. I got my town. I did not place this town. This was Aaron Elmy generated. Um, it does have some little weird things, like these little weird things going on here. I think they're possibly roads. I'm not real sure. I'll have to look at the painted map and see, but it kind of looks like a road. So I got to see what's going on here because this probably shouldn't happen. But other than that, it's it's pretty nice. Um, I got my town here. I got my water, all that kind of stuff. Where am I at? I'm trying to figure out where I'm at. Oh, um, what's going over here? Is this southwest? Okay, here's going to be the volcano, right? So I'm going to land here and looking north and eventually see my volcano. If anybody's actually ever seen a real volcano, they're not like they are in the Godzilla movies. They're not like high, sharp points. Um, they're kind of gradual, at least the ones in Hawaii were. So, um, you know, even in Unity, you know, when I'm looking at it, it kind of all flattens and smooths itself out when you actually bring it into the game. That's probably the same shot, you know, so let me back up a little bit more here. Yeah, that's, that, that's pretty close to the same shot. So you see there is some differences. The height contrast isn't quite as great in the game. Um, but when you actually get to the top of the volcano, as promised, the lake down at the bottom, um, the ridge line for the crater. This one blew big, I guess, and the land down at the bottom. Now it's going over to 
Let's see, what should we look at next? Uh, this little peak over here looks cool, right? So let's do that. Uh, let's go find that over here, and it's going to be somewhere right here, I think. And sure enough, there it is. Again, you can see it's a lot more gradual than it is in Unity, but it kind of works out. Um, I don't know the reasoning for that. Look, it even built a road. I guess that's Nitrogen built that road for me to connect the island. And that's one thing I put in a future request to turn off because I actually wanted this to be a separate island. Um, but the road generated it anyway. So um, let's see what else I can check out. Oh, yeah, my little land area over here. So that's going to be way to hell over here somewhere. All right, so here's basically the town that automatically generated. Wait for it to pop in. Pop in. So this is the town that, that automatically generated um, from nitrogen. And I wanted to add a special POI. So I found this nice cool POI and then I went ahead and manually placed it. Like I said, I had to extend the, uh, the flatness a little bit, but I was finally able to find good coordinates for it and I made it fit and it kind of looks natural in here, like kind of like a walled up subdivision for this little town area. So it kind of works out. Uh, one thing I thought was odd is nitrogen didn't take advantage of these flat areas. And I don't know if it's because it's a height issue, maybe they're too low, but that doesn't make any sense because I have this one is much higher and it didn't take advantage of it either. So I'm not sure how nitrogen decides where it's going to put towns, but I know there's some sort of mask feature I don't know how to use very well that can allow me to say, okay, place a town here no matter what. So I was going to try that next after this video um, to force a town here. But this is really that flat area basically over there, right? Because if you look at the stamper, yeah, it's going to be that. So, um, you know, it didn't place a town. It decided to place one over here instead, which I thought was a lot, but, you know, I don't really know the software that well, so I'm learning as I go, but I'm going to go ahead and add a city mask here and then regenerate it and see what happens. It might be pretty cool. But you could see that little, what is it called, a fjord? matches that little thing right there not perfectly um, but it does you know it, it works out and then there's no real biome distribution here um, when I set it up in nitrogen I set it up to have north snow south desert that it did not end up happening I don't know why but I can go ahead and repaint the biomes because biomes if you recall from other videos are just picture files this is a biome file so all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some desert down here and paint it and then what I'll also want to try to do is, where is it at, splat, 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 is delete this road right here, which is the road that connects to that island that I pointed out before. And then hopefully some of those little weird behaviors go away. But you can kind of see it's kind of cool, right? I don't know what's going on. I guess the alpha channel's kicking in. Um, but this is the actual height map. Oh, it's flipped, but whatever. I don't care. So long story short, this is a combination of Gaia and Unity to create my actual terrain, Nitrogen to place my randomly generated roads and towns, hand placement of a prefab that I really, really liked, and the end result is a world that is going to be how, exactly how I want it to. It's going to be randomly generated, and I can be able to ship the world out, out of the thing, but I can have my own POIs to do special quests and stuff like that in. And that's it.